Okay, welcome everybody. And right now we're going to do construct validity. Uh, and start off, here are the different types of validity that we've been talking about. We're looking at uh, construct validity, which is how well you operationally define the hypothetical constructs in your experiment. So it comes down to Basically, you're going to take a construct such as helping behavior, and how are you going to measure that? Well, you need an operational definition to measure that. So, for example, uh, we operationally define it as the number of boxes somebody will move for us if we ask them. And it kind of makes sense, and all constructs should make sense. That is, if somebody is being more helpful, they'll move more boxes for us, and if somebody's being less helpful, they'll move fewer boxes. So that is a good operational definition. And so construct validity is whether or not the operation, operational definitions are good. That is, whether or not they're well chosen or not. Uh, you know, we've already talked about uh, you know, DV type operational definitions with the helping. And we can now talk about IV, independent variable operational definitions. Going back to the same example from the uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, example experiment in the first two uh, research methods videos, uh, mood was the independent variable construct. And that was operationally defined by getting positive or negative feedback about how well you did on an important exam. And again, it makes sense that if you receive negative information about how well you did on an important exam, that should put you in a bad mood. If you receive positive information, that should put you in a good mood. And so with independent variable, we want to know if the IV and its operational definition worked as it did. Now, there are several ways you can do that. The first is a manipulation check. Uh, that is you uh, actually uh, check to see at the end of the experiment whether or not people noticed or responded to the manipulation. Uh, in the case of the test feedback, you could give them a short mood inventory, and hopefully the subjects in the experimental or the positive feedback condition uh, would be in a better mood than those in the negative feedback condition. Uh, you should also uh, do a pilot study uh, that is, a pilot study is a small study before your main experiment that gets the IVs or the DVs and especially their operational definitions working and making sh and checking to see if they're working before you do the full experiment. So you would do a pilot study where you give people the negative or positive feedback and you measure their mood and you hope to see that positive feedback leads to a positive mood negative feedback leads to a negative mood. You can also use pre-existing independent uh, variables from other studies. You know they've worked before, so they probably will, will work this time. Uh, so uh, that's how you go about doing an experiment, uh, doing an independent variable uh, you know, uh, pilot study or making sure that they work. Uh, with DVs, uh, in general, we often use uh, pencil and paper tests or other type of tests, you know, interview tests for DVs. And once we get to the paper and pencil tests and other types of tests, we move into the area of psychometrics. And uh, psychometrics is the statistics of measuring things. And so in the statistics of measuring things, we're going to be interested in uh, two key concepts which is whether or not that variable has good validity and good reliability. And as I always say, if you're going to use a test without reliability or validity information, you're going to have a bad time. 